Back. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from New Mexico seek recognition? And Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. In 1942, Dan enlisted as a paratrooper in the U.S. Army. You see, Dan McBride is an American hero. He is a sergeant from New Mexico. Assigned to Fox Company, the 502nd Parachute Infantry Regiment, 101st Airborne, Dan's job was a new modernization in military tactics. Paratroopers jumped out of perfectly good airplanes to parachute behind enemy lines. On June 6, 1944, Dan jumped into Normandy on D-Day as part of Operation Overlord. There he earned his first Purple Heart. On September 17, 1944, Dan jumped into Holland as part of Operation Market Garden. There he earned his second Purple Heart. In December of 1944, Dan and the 101st Airborne made their way to Bastogne, Belgium, where they held off a desperate push by the Germans in temperatures well below zero with no winter clothes. The Battle of the Bulge is where Dan earned his third Purple Heart. His actions did not go unoverlooked. Amongst the multitude of medals he was awarded, Dan and his fellow paratroopers Dick Klein and James Martin were featured in the book Three of the Last Screaming Eagles. That book has now been made into a documentary film called A Rendezvous with Destiny, which premieres on May 29th in Columbus, Ohio at the National Veterans Museum and Memorial. We owe so much to our world our World War II veterans, of whom we have fewer every day, and I am so proud of Sergeant McBride. I can't think of a better way to honor his legacy than by immortalizing his story on film. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back. The gentleman yields back.